Welcome to video number 94. This one's going to be about lunar eclipses. All right, so eclipses just means when one object is hidden or in the shadow of another. Uh, Big Mac, my cat, likes to hide between things, so he likes to eclipse from time to time. Eclipses come in solar and lunar, although I am a wicked twilighter and very much enjoyed the movie. Um, this time we're talking about astronomy. So I'm going to break this up into two different um, parts. So we're going to talk about a lunar eclipse first. And of course, lunar refers to the moon. So what happens during a lunar eclipse? Well, you have to do or think about the position of the sun, the earth, and the moon. So we know that we, as in the earth, revolve around the sun. We know that the moon revolves around us. Well, sometimes these things line up and get in each other's path. And that's what an eclipse really is. So the Earth is actually going to cast a shadow on the moon, and that's totally due to the alignment of the sun, earth, and moon. So all you basketball players up there, think of it as like a screen in between other things. Um, or hockey, that would work just as well. So the Earth is in the way of the sun's rays that are going to hit the moon. Now remember that the Earth is much bigger than the moon, so that would cast actually a pretty big shadow and over, um, overshadow the entire moon. So this is actually what a lunar eclipse would look like. Uh, this happens during a full moon, and that's the phase. Uh, Earth is directly between the moon and the sun, and the Earth blocks the sunlight from reaching the moon. And so what happens is that uh, through the Earth's atmosphere, it gets filtered, and it kind of looks like a reddish moon. All right, here's a clip. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here you are watching a lunar eclipse, so you can watch how the shadow grows. And remember, we're talking about the position of the sun, earth, and moon here. So as the shadow gets overcast, you're not going to be able to see the moon as much. It's pretty cool. You can see how the light is getting filtered here. So all you're left by the earth's atmosphere, so all you're left here is that red color because that's the only one that can be seen and it's just about done very cool so this is a lunar eclipse that you're watching all right i have one more youtube clip for you hang tight these moon phases occur over the course of a month and are due to the moon's relative location to the sun with respect to the earth this monthly cycle is important as a lunar eclipse can only occur during a full moon, when it is opposite the Earth from the Sun and fully illuminated. On rare occasions, the full moon lines up precisely on the ecliptic plane, the plane on which the Earth rotates around the Sun. When this happens, the Earth blocks some or all of the Sun's light and casts a shadow on the moon, which we see as a lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow has two distinct parts. The umbra is the inner cone-shaped part of the shadow, is the part in which all the light has been blocked. The penumbra is the outer part of Earth's shadow, where sunlight is only partially blocked. Scientists recognize three types of lunar eclipses, penumbral, partial, and total. A penumbral eclipse occurs when only the penumbral shadow is hitting the moon. A penumbral eclipse is very hard to see because of all the parts of the moon are still receiving some light from the sun. A partial lunar eclipse happens when a portion of the moon enters Earth's umbra, while the rest of the moon remains in the faint light of the penumbra. In a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely in the Earth's umbra, casting a shadow across its full visible surface. But even in a total eclipse, the moon remains faintly illuminated by indirect sunlight refracted through the Earth's atmosphere, giving the moon a faint red glow. Partial lunar eclipses occur at least twice a year, but total lunar eclipses are less common. All right, summary time. So define the word eclipse. I'd like you to diagram a lunar eclipse. Pay really specific attention to the sizes of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. List the three types of eclipse that that last video showed you and diagram them. And which one of those three is the most rare? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in class.